Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Gabriele and today on the Isle Evrima, Dondi, the big developer, released and leaked, they actually leaked, uh, plenty of new things like the big Denosuchus we see here, how a Terra crashes, the weather, caves and a brand new environment. But first let's check how Denosuchus basically eats, lunge attacks and attacks. We can see uh, Denosuchus attack right here. That's supposed to be a launch attack. The developers had in mind for the Denosuchus to launch itself against its prey and then put the prey underwater, where the Denosuchus can actually walk and trot underwater. That, that's something awesome. So basically, Denosuchus, apart from lurking underwater and staying underwater without being noticed, it has a fantastic clear vision, a long range for vision, and plus it can walk, trot, whatever underwater. Now, I wonder how the stamina consumption will actually work, because it seems uh, uh, it doesn't have any stamina depletion, because it actually is a semi-aquatic animal, or maybe an aquatic animal. By the way, also uh, Dondi said that uh, developers have been working hard uh, for some technical problem in uh, the swamps. So they have recreated basically swamps, rivers, the uh, edges of these uh, rivers and water pools, let's say, because Denosuchus uh, couldn't actually uh, swim in these edges, close to these edges, should only, uh, because most of uh, most of the dinosaurs at the moment, let's say a Suko swamp or a berry swamp or other swamps like mm, the bumpy swamp very known, all animals could just walk uh, ankle deep and they could still be walking. Instead, with this rework of uh, this of the map, apart from adding foliage and a brand new environment underwater, new assets basically, uh, they have worked the shape of edges, so the Denosuchus can actually swim in the edges, lurking and wait for the prey to get close to the water. And the prey cannot actually anymore walk ankle deep in the water because they have uh, dig, they have dug deeper on these edges. Let's say uh, Denosuchus movements are very fluid, in my opinion. It's a, a fat crocodile can actually uh, be fearsome as soon as it will be introduced in game. Also, uh, they have said that Denosuchus launch attack um, will try to launch itself as long as possible, as long as they can, to uh, trap their prey in their jaws. Also, apart from uh, all of these things, they are creating a new map. At the end of this video, you will see this fantastic new map they are creating. And all of these new assets, some of these new assets, basically, they are uh, posting them with update number three because uh, of uh, they had to recreate the environment where Denosuchus lives, not to let other dinosaurs, terrestrial dinosaurs, to walk in the swamp, which is pretty unfair. I mean, it is cool, but Denosuchus then cannot actually swim, cannot actually be... Uh, use 100% as an aquatic animal or a semi-aquatic at least. Uh, it can attack in water, it can launch, it can. It, it just looks like it has a floating bladder. It can go up and down. I'm curious to know how that works, if it's just with pushing down or up, or there is an extra uh, keyboard uh, thing to be pressed. Okay, uh, now we can see they have done some good reworks, I think, that on certain servers, I don't know if that was my impression, but by playing them uh, during these days, I've noticed some changes in the map and in the QA server, definitely, I have. I am quite sure that I've noticed some changes like of the terrestrial foliage, some trees that uh, were not supposed to be there before and all of these things. Uh, now, this Denosuchus has depleted the stamina and it's, uh, well, the sound is not working. I'd remove it because otherwise we could hear Dondi speaking. Thank you again, man. By the way, because we have ran out of ideas and that was true. Well, because it's said that YouTubers actually ran out of ideas on what to post of the aisle. And today with this big leak, wait, stay with me that in a few moments, after these fearsome uh, attacks of the Dinosuchus, we're going to see 
a pteranodon in a bad weather condition. Can you hear it? No, we can't actually hear it because there is no sound. But stay with me a few moments extra. One, two, three, four, five. This is the big beast walking in the grass, basically. I think this is this must be Suko Swamp, and those two rocks are where Uta's stay, basically. It's the west side of Suko Swamp. And I think I'm right, aren't I? Okay, and here is the Pteranodon flying in bad weather. Now, I wonder if the Pteranodon flying in bad weather, or like other dinosaurs uh, that are subject to bad weather, like hailstorms, or, well, I am creating conditions and extra weather conditions that are not in here. But I wonder if hailstorm will actually do damages to dinosaurs that are uh, in prairies or up in the sky like Pteranodon. So they are forced to land to not to receive such damages like on their body. For example, let's say a situation that this Pteranodon uh, is suffering from heavy winds, from hail, from stones, and it needs to land because otherwise the health is going to deplete slowly, much more like any other terrestrial dinosaur will receive damage if they are in prairies. Uh, if they're not in prairies, they don't receive damage. Uh, they need to be under a tree or in a cave. They are working on rocks. Stay with me a little longer that you will see these rocks. By the way, now Dondi is trying to land this Pteranodon on a tree. Land. It's going to crash it and we're going to see how that animation works. This is uh, night, I guess, or maybe uh, close to the night because there is no uh, a night vision yet implemented in the game that will come with uh, later updates. Check Trello roadmap, the Trello roadmap for uh, future for extra information. All the links are in the description below. Please check it. Also, uh, with this weather and other uh, water or cool stuff that they will be adding, they are working with Unreal Engine. And I've heard from one of you that uses Unreal Engine, that Unreal Engine will add a 4.26 version, and the water looks very, very real. It's like water for real, with a foam system, with everything. Mm, to me, I was like... I need to buy a better PC in order to play on the cinematic mode this game that will look like being uh, in real forests or jungles. Okay, let's check it. Crash. Look, the animation of the Pteranodon crashing on one of these three. Uh, you see, it looks pretty real. I mean, it's amazing the work that they have done. It's like a, a, a plus game, this one. Uh, they just need to add extra things. I know like nesting, night vision, fractures but they will come in the future if you're playing legacy just switch from legacy to Evrima. once update 3 will come out because it's really worth it in my opinion less dinosaurs true but still worth it you get experience plus playing in Evrima. and now we talk about rocks but not only rocks they are working on uh, different type of rocks some of them so uh, looks like they will be implemented close to the ocean others close to prairies others close to uh, northern forest big spoiler for later others like in sand environments depending on the color on what they are like granite like uh, muddy rocks it depends on the material they are made of from their colors and uh, their texture also i heard that they are working on caves like underwater caves for Denosuchus to get in the water and get on the other side of an open air cave where only Denosuchus can go. That's my guess. It's my guess. They haven't said it, but it's my guess. Or like caves up in the mountain caverns uh, where you have to be careful not to fracture any bone. Now, uh, caverns are going to be a great add to the map in my opinion because it's like the perfect nesting location I'm not sure and I don't think that they will be added anytime soon but with the nesting thing with the nesting mechanic maybe we can hope that caverns and caves will be added in the map or maybe they will be added with a new environment with just a new island next to Isla Spiro where you can just walk from one island to the other island with a tide system. Let's say the ocean has a 
high tide and now a low tide and you can walk when the tide is low my guess is just with the floating and tiding system and now this is the new environment that they have created looks amazing it's like a northern american forest where uh, all of these uh, rocks all of uh, these bushes all of these different trees and uh, fell i do not their name in english sorry it's like a small river that a small stream going uh, down from uphill um, broken um, logs big trees and the attention to detail is just amazing it's just amazing now it's playing a utaraptor i don't think this is the best place for utaraptors in my opinion yes many dinosaurs have a higher chance to break their bones in an environment like this because there are plenty of uh, different levels let's say that's a dryo and this is a carnotaurus that's what i was talking about if it falls from a small rock it gets uh, full damage pretty much basically so uh this is not a, this is a very uh, hard environment in my opinion because for strategy uh, this space is quite uh, open so utaraptors are very easily spotted and carnotaurus on the other hand cannot actually run because otherwise they get a, they get a full damage and they hurt themselves smaller dinosaurs are gonna have a hard time because it's gonna be easy for them to be spotted but also bigger dinosaurs cannot run towards them to eat them because um, basically they can get a lot of full damage and get a bone break from the next update with the pachycephalosaurus in update 4 this is a brand new environment that will uh, get in the aisle for the aisle players a new gameplay a new you we will have to study different strategies to uh, become elders let's say once the elder system and elder mechanic will be implemented so i can't actually wait to play this new map to study the different strategies with all different dinosaurs from tenonto to stegosaurus to carno to dinosuchus i don't see a dinosuchus here though it's Benosuchus is gonna die very easily in this environment because I don't see many uh, pools, many uh, much water, let's say, and I see uh, many levels on the terrain, plenty of empty spaces, so it's not a good environment for Denosuchus while it can be for others. I have no idea. Well, maybe Atenonto, this can be a good environment for Atenontosaurus, just my saying at the moment then I may play this uh, environment later, in a few months from now, and I'm gonna say, Tenonto is not good, I'd rather play with another the, the dinosaur in this environment. For sure, Pteranodon, if they can perch themselves, Pteranodons, on top of these trees, that would be really, really cool. I want you to uh, get a note on the attention to details. Uh, different trees have different bark types, and on uh, this bark there is different types of moss so um, they have studied this environment for a long time the attention of the light of the shadows everything has been studied uh, to the mm, last and minute detail they have done an excellent and great job so it's bravo 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 that's uh, all for today basically thank you all so much for watching all of this was leaked by Mr. Dondi, the main developer, the boss, let's say, I think, I don't know, it's a team, I know. And they're all doing a fantastic job. I think some of these environments, by the way, I think was Fred to, I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna say anything because I don't know anything. Okay, well, people, if you liked this news leaked by Dondi with its latest stream, please make sure to like this video of mine subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet share with everyone peace and love thank you so much for watching and bye bye